two things. Um, first of all, any truth to the rumor you're moving a receiver or tight end after that two point conversion last week? No, nah, there's no truth to that. I mean, I wish, but no, nah, that's not happening. Uh, how did that play come about? What were you thinking on it? It was Coach uh, Burns actually brought it up um, to the office of staff. He kept telling me that he's going to give me a play. And then um, we ran it in practice, and it looked pretty good. So we decided to go with it. You were comfortable catching the ball? It looked like you bobbled it a little. You should have seen practice. It was a lot better. My hands were in practice were a lot, way better. What do you think? Of, and the last thing, what do you think of your matchup with Chase Young this week? Obviously, two guys who were drafted really high, who you, I think you guys kind of go way back to top high school recruits. Yeah, um, obviously, um, very talented guy, but not just him, their whole front. Um, I think it's like five first round draft picks. Um, it's going to be a good matchup um, for our tackles and our inside guys. It's going to be a good game. Zach Rosenblatt. Hey, Andrew. I'm just curious when, when you look at how these first five weeks have gone, how, how do you like evaluate how you have played? Uh, I think I see progression, but there's there's definitely things that I definitely need to you know get better at. Um, things I've been working on, just just focusing on because it's every week in NFL. Um, there's no days off. There's no plays off. So just trying to cut down my negative plays as much as possible. And and obviously you're going to face talented pass rushers every week, but you've faced some particularly talented ones uh, over the course of the season. Like what, what what's that challenge been like for you? Uh, I think it's it's actually been good for me. I think to to see it so early, so I can understand you know how it goes and how it is week in and week out, and I think that that'll make me better in the long run. Thanks. Matt Lombardo. Hey, Andrew, it's kind of been murderer's row, right? You're getting Chase Young this week. You had Demarcus Lawrence last week, Watt in week one. How do you balance learning from these matchups and, and guarding against maybe, it, you know, impacting your confidence going up against some of these elite rushers right out of the shoot? I think the biggest thing is focusing on myself. Like, obviously, you have to understand the pass rushers, rushers what their moves are, um, their counters and things like that. But I think the biggest thing for me is just focusing on myself, making sure that my technique is correct because – Regardless of what they do, if I'm not, you know, doing my technique right, then they're going to be successful. So that's been the biggest focus for me. What's been your biggest takeaway so far? Like, where's the one area coming from Georgia through the first five games where you say, okay, you know, th th this is something that I've learned from going up against these top guys? Uh, one is the hand usage. Um, they're, they're very key on, you know, using their hands and their secondary rushes. And the biggest thing for me personally is just consistent consistency in my set. Like in, at Georgia, if you, you, know, you don't take a good set, sometimes you can get away with it with athleticism or strength. But at this level, if you don't take a great set, then they're going to take advantage of it. Thanks. Yep. Tom Canavan. Hey, Andrew. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I mean, one thing you didn't do a lot of Georgia was lose games. Has that been an adjustment, learning to, you know, not enjoy, you know, the end of a game and, you know, the difference? Yeah, it's, it's definitely different, um, especially as hard as we work um, here for the Giants. We work really hard, and when you come up short, it definitely hurts. But I think um, just understanding that we're, we're close, we're on the brink, you know, breaking the threshold, that that's, continues to motivate us. Laura? Hey, Andrew, just going back to, to Chase Young, I mean, you guys are in similar stages in your development and you're at opposing positions. For you, is there any benefit or value at looking at him, kind of seeing where he is and using that as a gauge to measure your own progress? Not necessarily. I don't really pay attention to, you know, other guys trying to measure for myself. Like I said, I'm focus, focusing on myself, understanding my technique and the things I need to get better at. And we've kind of danced around it a little bit. Um, People have kind of asked about your confidence level. What is your confidence level at this point? Has anything that's happened so far, you know, shaken your belief in your ability to, to play left tackle in this league? No, I wouldn't say that my confidence is shaken. I think, like I said, there are things that I definitely need to work on. Um, that comes from practice and repetition. Like uh, we talked about earlier, going against these very talented pass rushers early, I think will actually help build my confidence because I've seen the best. I've seen, you know, what the greatest in the NFL look like so I can, you know, continue to get better each and every week. Thank you. Jordan. Hey, hey, Andrew, what's going on, man? How you doing? If, you, if you can, just take me through that DeMarcus Lawrence sack last week. And, like, when you look at it and you look at it on, you know, Monday and you look at the film, what do you look at and, and what can what can you fix and, and how do you look at that and say, all right, this is what I need to do, need to do better next time? Yeah, on that particular play, particular play, I didn't hit my landmark. I undershot my set. Um, so he, 
he got the edge. And then the second thing was my punch. Um, I know with guys like him, you have to be loose with the outside hand. What Coach Colombo calls it um, because he's, he's trying to knock the outside hand down. Once he gets it, he can turn the edge. So just being more firm in my set, making sure I get to my landmark and uh, having a better punch.